President Joe Biden became the first U.S. president to declare the mass slaughter of Armenians at the hands of Ottoman Turks more than a century ago, a genocide. The declaration threatens to further erode relations between Turkey and the U.S. Turkey has long denied a genocide or any deliberate plan to wipe out Armenians. But Biden's declaration was welcome news to Armenians, who have been working for over a century to call attention to the events of 1915. In 1915, following the request of then U.S. Ambassador to Ottoman Empire, Henry Morgenthau, a group of Americans founded a Committee on Armenian Atrocities, which raised funds to help millions of Armenian, Greek, and Assyrian people in the Near East. The Armenian Genocide Museum and Institute in the capital city of Yerevan documents that initiative and how it led the United States to provide help to survivors. The humanitarian movement united the entire society, everybody from ordinary citizens to people in power, all the way to the U.S. President Woodrow Wilson. A humanitarian fundraiser launched in the U.S. in the years following the events of 1915 uses now common techniques such as small donation boxes with images of a person. In this case, an image of Shushan, an Armenian orphan whose story is told right on the box. There are even donation boxes for children. This image depicts the Armenian orphan city, the largest orphanage in human history with over 25,000 orphans sheltered in the orphanage. The various documents tell the story of American volunteers and missionaries who saved and took care of Armenian orphans, giving them a second chance. These are American orphanages and hospitals established all over the Ottoman Empire. The shelters that were also called sanctuaries, as well as the tent cities. These volunteers left their homes and risked their lives to help the survivors of genocide, Hunuman noted, a sacrifice that saved tens of thousands of Armenian orphans. For Shaki Avayan in Yerevan, Armenia, NRI's Mioi News.